Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial. Here I'll be showing you how to make a drop cap in the text here in Corel Draw. Alright, um, it's very simple and um, very very easy to do. So um, to do so, you select your text tool, then you make a text frame here, and you drag, then you add a placeholder text, right click, add, insert placeholder text then p to fit the join page and so um to add the drop cap there are two different ways to do it first of all you select the text tool again then you highlight the first letter depending on which one you want to work with then you go to text then you se uh, select um drop cap then this dialog box appears here then you select a tick on use drop cap all right then um the preview will appear here so there are also some changes you can make here so number of lines dropped so as it is now there are three lines which is one two and three so you can increase it to four sorry to you can reduce or increase it to four so this is four you can increase it to five depending on whatever you want to work with then on um, the space between cap what is the space between this letter l and these um, letters here so um, you can increase them as you can see as I'm increasing them the text are moving away from it all right so um, you can use um can select use hanging index so this is what it does here it creates um, a space below the letter here so once you're done you click ok but we don't need this and once you're done, you click on OK. Alright, so um, this is the drop cap. This is how to do it in Corel Draw. It works um, on each paragraph. So um, it can also be achieved. Um, let's undo that Ctrl plus Z. It can also be achieved using this. So you just highlight the first letter. Then um, you come to the property bar where you have drop cap and the shortcut key is control plus shift plus D. Alright. So um but the difference is that um you won't be able to make some changes here. So it's best to go to the text, then drop cap, then this dialog box you can make some changes. So like I said, the shortcut key is um control plus shift plus D. So let's undo that. Control Shift D. All right. So um, that is it on how to achieve the drop cap here in Corel Draw. So it can also be used on book covers here. It can also be used on um, brochures, depending on what you are working with. All right, guys. Um, if you find this video helpful, do want to hit on the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell to get notified of upload new videos, and don't forget to like share and comment on our videos thank you for watching and see you on the next video tutorial